Mike Donahue back for fire engineering. So what we have here are hydraulic shores. Okay, these are pretty new. They're pretty innovative. They're from a company, 911 Tools, and they work very easily and they're very portable. Down here is your hydraulic pump. You activate it with the little handle. All right, pumps the hydraulic fluid in, forces the inside piston up, uh, and that's it. These are acting just as your dead shore or your vertical shore or the double T. Here's our load above. The load is being collected, is being transferred vertically down into the ground and dispersed. What I have here, I have two wide MVX bases on it and just two waffle heads up top. You could certainly use a rigid base on top. You could use a U-channel base to go ahead and slip either a 4x4 header in or to even go up and sit right in between the, uh, the joist you're trying to support. The good thing about these is they're quick to set up, they're quick to deploy, they're very portable, and they give you a quick hit, they give you a safe haven, they'll go ahead and create your shoring system, your permanent shoring system. For example, if I need to get into this space here, I can look up top and I can see the joists are running this way. So I can take a strut here, put a strut right behind it, put a header across the top, do the same on the other side. So now that header is capturing the load from the joist above, it's taking it, it's dropping it down through these verticals into the ground, and that's it. Now we can get in there, and on either side, whichever we feel comfortable with, whichever looks best, we can build our permanent dead shores. So, again, hydraulic shoring, another quick, easy way to get in, make a quick hit, and give yourself a safe haven for shoring. So thanks for checking these videos out. I hope they hammered home or shed some light on what you read in the article. If not, you can always email me, progressiverescue at gmail.com. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. So until next month, stay safe, stay progressive, and remember to keep training.